right, Rickster's here. I am back. Yes, that's right. I am back in the Forbidden Game. Warp Wonder. So, basically, what is this point? This is a Doe 335 B2. 5.7? Yeah, 5.7. Just doing something totally unexpected for the channel. After quitting the game for two years, I've decided to return to ARB for War Thunder, that I joke we call Warp Wonder. Because, well, I was convinced to try it back again. So, this match, we'll see how we do. So, long story short, the Doe 335 in particular, it's a good boom and zoom. It's a very hefty big plane has really good cannons, of course, with the Mark 103s, which have very high velocity. They're not the slow, derpy ones, which are the Mark 108s on the MB262, and the very versatile MG151s. The ammunition that I use is Air Attack. That's, well, since it's premium, you pretty much get it from the start, but on the tech tree, you just grind for them. Just like anything in this game. So, right now, just climb in between 19 to 20, and just gotta do those 335 things. Hopefully, in this particular flight, you actually get to do something to demonstrate why his firepower is so good. The cannons are pretty accurate, though, and since they're mostly nose mounted, which is right around here, just zoom in a little bit, like there. Yeah, that's a good shot right there. They have really good convergence, so you can actually fire at a longer distance and it usually will hit more often. It's a very good bomber hunter as well. It's a very high speed aircraft, and it was made in World War II. Not this particular model, but a variant of this actually did fly. And yes, it was that wicked fast. So right now, I'm leveling off a little bit here. Just want to gain a little bit of altitude, because this plane does better at higher altitude than lower. It's just the way it's designed and how it plays in the game. There is two bombers below us, a PB4Y, which is basically a B24 with a single tail, and the famous B17, with some <clears throat> strange names, indeed. So I'm just gonna dive on this BB4Y. Let's see how it goes here. Let's zoom in a bit. Oh, that was a bad dive. Oh god. Yeah, that, that was bad accuracy. I haven't flown this point in two years, so my accuracy was pretty terrible. But since I'm um, going really fast, I can do like a quick turn here. And then finish them off. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. There, I took some damage, but got him good. Now for the F2G. Now since I'm damaged, this is going to be a really hard fight. That is also a dangerous threat. There we go, critical hit. Or not. <laughs> now, going low and slow is not a good thing. I don't know what he's doing. In particular. There we go. Oh, I'm not going that high. That was energy trapped me. That's two kills down. Go with an F2G that wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's an F4U. Okay. So he wants to fight. This is really a dangerous fight now because I'm low and slow, which is not something I want to do. I'll head on this F82. There we go. Got him down. Usually you don't want to head on to this point too often. I don't know how I'm still flying, by the way. <laughs> it's like all damaged. 
Oh, I still have the rear engine on. <laughs> yeah, this game has very broken damage model. But in this case, I can see kind of see why with uh, being able to do that much damage in a short go. Three kills. Okay, so even with my bad aim, got three kills. Great. Okay, so yeah, so the Doe 335B2. Pretty much, uh, even though I haven't played it in two years, got three kills even with uh, terrible aim. So that's pretty much what I wanted to quick demonstrate for this very short War Thunder brief gameplay video. I do run a Ko-Fi page if you want to support the channel. And this is Vixer's Journey, signing off.